Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to God together. First, let's hear from the Bible. Romans chapter 12, verses 7 and 8. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you're a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. In three of his letters, Paul talks about the gifts that God has given to Christians, and each list is very different. Here and in Ephesians chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians chapter 12, he makes it clear that every follower of Christ has been given a unique gift from God, which is vital for the church, the body of Christ. God gives his gifts according to the needs of the church, and I'm quite sure that if Paul were writing today, he would be keen to add the gift of helping with public address systems and digital technology. The Holy Spirit gives just the right gifts to his church to enable it to be effective. The point that Paul is making here is that once you've found your gift, you need to get on and use it. It isn't like an award or certificate that you can put on display in a prominent place in your house so that you could show off to other people. Gifts are given so that they can be put to good use. There's nothing more tragic than someone keeping their gift to themselves. This means that it's vital that we should all know what our individual gift is. I don't believe for a moment that God wants to keep this a secret from us. So if you can't immediately identify your gift, I would encourage you to pray about it. Ask God to show you the gift that he's given you. And remember that gifts change with time and circumstances. As we get older, our strength and opportunities change. And so the gift that he might give you now may be very different from the gift that you used to have. If you don't hear God telling you what your gift is, then I would urge you to talk to a trusted friend about this. I suspect that they'll quickly be able to identify your gift. And whatever it is, remember that God wants you to use that gift wholeheartedly for him. Let me pray with you. Loving God, thank you that you've given us special gifts. Help us to use them enthusiastically for you. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you.